Go. Hello friends, I'm standing behind me. It what is what may be the last block blockbuster in the world. This is what happens when businesses do not move along with the evolved economy. There are many giants and massive corporations that have monopolized in the past who used to be the paramount uh, leaders of their field like Kodak, like Toys R Us, like Sears, and Blockbusters. But Blockbusters was given an opportunity to buy Netflix when it was only uh, tens of millions of dollars. But they passed on it because they didn't see that as a viable option for the future. And now, Netflix has completely replaced Blockbusters. They are shutting down around the nation. When I was a child, this used to be the go-to place that people would go several times a week just to get movies. Blockbusters couldn't see how people would ever want to stop going to a physical location, a brick and mortar store, and how the internet would take over and provide videos at the comfort of their own home for rentals. And therefore, they got shut down. There's companies that are shutting down all around us because they have not evolved with the economy. There are some major shifts that are taking place in the, sin in the days that we're living in, and um, it, it is disrupting markets all around the world. And yet, it, it challenges me because I see that churches don't feel that this is, that uh, this market disruptors is going to affect our industry, but it will. We see churches declining drastically. There are churches closing their doors. There are fewer and fewer in number. 50% of churches in America are um, under 100 people. And uh, there are just less and less. And it's because we're not incorporating the modern publishing. We're not incorporating the modern methods of communication. We try to ignore social media. We try to ignore the, the texting and the phones and try to put away as though it doesn't exist and we don't incorporate it into our plan of evangelism and our methods of communicating. Friends, we are looking at the greatest shift of communication in the last 500 years since the Gutenberg printing press and we can't just ignore it. Otherwise, we're going to end up like this blockbuster that may be the last one standing. And so it, my encouragement to you is to utilize every form of communication that we can. How Jesus, he reached the people through their familiar associations. And today, the people are familiar with Facebook, with YouTube, with Twitter. They're used to text messages. There are new ways to communicate them a timeless message. And if we don't, if we don't equip or branch out in our methods of labor, then... Um, it's going to greatly affect our ability to communicate a message. And the same goes for businesses today. We're living in a day where every business would benefit from producing content on social media to attract what is called content marketing. And by becoming, uh, by producing valuable content to the community, they're able to target even through Facebook ads. These billboards are not nearly as effective as a Facebook ad would be that could be targeted to the very specific location. To, it could target whether someone went through a divorce, whether they just moved in the area, whether they're in the need of cleaning a carpet, whatever. You can get the very specifics in the social media advertising. And it's, it's just, this is grossly underpriced right now in the ability to actually connect and communicate with people. And so modern publishing is a major thing that we should be considering today. And if you don't want to be left behind like this blockbuster, then I encourage you to press share and start going live because this is a new way of communication in these days.